Welcome Sagittarius. Okay, so we are going to be looking at what you need guidance with right now using a Soul Truth uh, Self-Awareness card deck, Oracle of the Seven Energies, and I'll show Zen Tarot. Okay, so uh, what am I starting with here? Okay, sorry. Sagittarius, Soul Truth. Three cards for Sagittarius, please. Do you know what? I have to say this. Because I'm trying not to. But I have to. Sagittarius. When I was prepping for this reading. The, I had the camera on. And it kept taking photos. Which. My camera doesn't do that. Just take photos randomly. And it must have taken about four or five photos. And I had to like clear it out. And just immediately I thought there is someone here in spirit that Sagittarius knows you used to take a lot of photos. So Sagittarius, if that is for you, please know that that person is with you. Thank you. Oh yes, I've just got the shivers. Okay, so let me pick this one card up off the floor. And so I also feel like that this person is with you um, also to bring these messages through um, from your soul to but it's kind of like amplified in a sense so I want to say listen even more okay right oh, I've just knocked some of the cards on the floor now okay right so let's just start am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life Next card here is what if it isn't true? And the next card here, am I ready to let go of this buried shame? Okay, so this first card says, you are the asset. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling. How much sleep are you getting? And what you can do to help your body rest. Today's soul action, and this is like every day, okay, so if you need reminding about it, come back and listen, you know, so that you can do this every day for yourself, because this is going to create change. Okay, so today's soul action, take a bath, put on some lavender oil, essential oil, and go to bed ridiculously early, or give yourself time out today. Notice your body thanking you. Today's mantra, the more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can contribute. Okay, so Sagittarius, let me pick these cards up. Okay, so I'm hoping no more cards fall on the floor. Right, so three cards for am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? Four, Sagittarius, please. Two more cards, please. One more card, please. One more card. Thanks. Okay, so Sagi. Sagi, Sagi. Exposed and revealed. Exposed and revealed. Something you don't want to face in your life, potentially. Right? I wonder if some of you actually cover your body up because you don't want to be seen. Don't like the way you look, potentially, for some of you. Or even, even, it's not even that, you know, it, it could be that you just don't like being seen. One more card for Exposed and Revealed. Trying to hide, trying to hide, put a box over your head, like, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, don't look here, just look over there, look at this, look at that, look at everything else but me. Creativity. For some of you, there's a real creative flair that you have that um, you don't want people to see. Because the creative flair that you have is something that you actually bring through from the depths of your soul. And you feel like when people see it, they see you. And it feels a little bit causes you to feel quite vulnerable but people don't know that about you um but 
I do want to say here about this this body being the vehicle and stuff like that and looking after your body get creative with that right get creative as to how you are going to look after yourself here beautiful uncaging see there's something there's this emotional thing here very emotional we've got this card here about locking up your heart right opening up your heart opening yourself up being honest being honest with those around you Sagittarius not keeping your heart locked up. I don't feel those came out right. Okay, beautiful uncaging. Tell me more about this for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius, this is a new truth. This is being truthful about what you want, what you desire. New beginning. A new passionate beginning. A new honest and passionate beginning. Unlocking your heart. Because what are you trying to protect yourself from? Like if the heart needs uncaging. Right? What is it you're trying to protect yourself from? What are you afraid of? These are all the things that you need to look at. Because busying yourself and not taking the rest that you need could be because you're trying to avoid some sort of truth and looking at some sort of truth in your life so yes you need to do this okay endless possibilities endless possibilities tell me more about this endless possibilities for a few kiss please see i feel like this is kind of like endless possibilities of your future being open to that coming to fruition oh my god what is it i don't even know where it's gone i can't see it one more card thanks what have we got here oh my lord the lovers and then we have sharing Right, sharing your heart, endless possibilities, what you can grow with someone else is absolutely endless. Uncage your heart. Sagittarius. So, so looking honestly, being completely honest with yourself and seeing the truth within you, right? Because... You are the asset. I feel like potentially you're the asset to someone else. You are the asset. It's how they see you. What if it isn't true? Okay. The thing you are telling yourself right now, the concrete, it's inverted commas, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, you are not enough, or it's not for you. What if it wasn't true? Today's soul action. It's time for a soul chat. Close your eyes. Put your hands on your heart. And ask the wise one within you. What if it isn't true? What else might be possible? Journal your answer. What lie do I need to let go of to reach my soul's truth? What if it isn't true, Sagittarius? Wow. <laughs> this is so funny, Sagittarius, because I have a strong placement of Sagittarius in my chart. So this is like speaking to me too. <laughs> like, oh. Even though I always keep the readings like neutral. But it is jumping out. Oh my lord, Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius, if you have Gemini in your heart, in your heart, Gemini in your heart, Gemini in your chart, you need to go and look at that video. Healing the heart, Gemini. This is about you healing the heart, right? So that it can be uncaged. Because it's going to be. This is a cool card. What is this? 
yeah, it needs to be released so it can fly. Definitely needs to be released so it can fly. Okay, tell me more about healing the heart, please. Gemini. Letting go. Letting go of everything that is not working for you, that is not serving for you, so that you can create the life that you dream of, that you desire, that you deserve. Because you're telling yourself all these things that are not true in order to protect your heart. But they're rubbish. And it's stopping you from living a life full of love and joy. Even if it's not that there's anyone that you are particularly got your eye on right now. Even if you're already in a committed relationship, you can still close yourself off, you know. So in that regard... You know, I'm hearing the siren in the background there coming to lock up the heart again. Like, far out. Let it go. Let it release it. Yeah. We've got a tall a tail here. Right, this is Pinocchio sitting on a tall hat. It's like this tall tail of, well, I can't because this happened and then that happened and, you know, then it's going to happen again and what am I going to do when it happens again and it's already happening because this, this and this. It's like, that's just a tall tail that you're telling and the hat's not only Pinocchio's nose is growing bigger, but the hat is too because there's all this crap inside that you're sitting on that needs to be released. Right? A tall tail. And and the thing is that that is actually controlling you and controlling what um, lies in your future. Okay? So release yourself. You need to release yourself from this. This came up in Gemini's reading the, the round before, so go have a look at both of those because I honestly think, Sagittarius, that you're going to relate to that. I honestly do. We have abundance. Because this is what is waiting for you here and this is what is stopping you. Stopping you from releasing you from flying on the magic carpet and having all the abundance that you could truly wish for if you just let go. If you just let go. I know it's hard. But when you do, you're going to see that, man, I should have done that ages ago. Should have done that ages ago. Look at this storyteller. This is a new chapter of your life. What do you want to, What do you want that to say? How do you want that story to go? Because all the other chapters of your life have not been very pleasant. So this is a new one. Let's start not just a new chapter, but a whole new Right, you see, you see the key here? This is the key to unlocking the cage of the heart. You found it. It wasn't here. And here it is. It is here, Sagittarius. Yeah. Okay, so, Storyteller. One more card, the Storyteller. Oh, wow. The master. This is you. This is who you are. You are the master. The master of your life. You have all the answers. You know exactly what you need to do. You just need to tap within. Tap inside. Okay. Release the chains. And let yourself fly. The chains that are holding you back. Rebel against this, this prison of your mind. This prison that you keep your heart in. Rebel against it. Sagittarius, why would you even let it contain you? It's not like you. Why would you let it contain you? You deserve better. You deserve so much better. And you deserve so much more. So give it to yourself. Because you're the one who can. Okay? I am... Oh, am I ready to let go of this buried shame? Sagittarius.
The feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is. When you live in shame, you live in darkness. What part of you is already is ready to stand in the light? Is there any shame from a past experience that is ready to be healed? Today's soul action. Heal the shame by giving it a name. Bring it to the light and let it be seen, heard and healed. It's revival season. Replace the shame with your soul's truth. Fill in the blank. My soul's truth is... Blah. Whatever that is, right? Replace it. Because your soul's truth is not shame. Your soul's truth is... Love. Your soul's truth is... Being the master. Your soul's truth is anything else but shame. Yeah? Okay, three cards. This is sad. Well, just like that. Wow. Seeing beyond. Seeing beyond the lies that we tell ourselves. In order to keep ourselves small, in order to protect ourselves, in order to protect our heart. Seeing behind all that, seeing the truth. The truth of who we are. <clears throat> okay. Three cards, two cards for seeing beyond, please. I love this. She's got a star in her eye. She's got a twinkle in her eye. got three cards here interesting okay we've got <laughs> wow, wow, wow being receptive this is receptivity okay being receptive to this new journey to taking a leap of faith to having faith in yourself to trusting even if it goes to shit who cares just take the leap anyway take the leap anyway Okay, see the possibilities, rise above, see the possibilities, because at the moment you're walking on the terrain, too scared to go anywhere else other than when you, where you already know. See the possibilities of what can be for you and rise above and see where the sun comes from. See where the light comes from. See that it comes from you, right? From this master. Be conscious of who you truly are here, okay? The oracle's gift. The oracle's gift. See, here's the thing, right? This new beginning, it's already written. It's a gift. All you need to do is put yourself in there and become an active component in it. That is it. There's nothing else to be done. Wow. Sagittarius. Wow. What was at the bottom of the deck? The dream. Interesting. Just jumped out at me. The oracle's gift. What? Wow. Three cards again. Interesting. Yeah, this is something that has come from past lives this is something that was preordained this is something that was meant is meant to be right it's part of you and you are part of it just needs time to grow <clears throat> you need to be patient you need to nurture you and take care of you so that you can be in top form to receive what it is that is coming so you can be receptive okay the last card we have here is the royal you the royal you Sagittarius put your crown on put your crown on 
You don't even need to wear a crown. This is the thing though. You don't even need the crown to represent who you are because it's already there. It's already existent. It's just actually up to you to receive it and believe it. Okay, so one more card. Oh, sorry, two cards for the royal you. For Sagittarius, please. Okay, on the floor. Yeah, see, um, this is what is stopping you from stepping into that. This heartache, this pain, that uh, just needs to be melted away. So yeah, you need to do that work, 100%. But I feel like, actually, <sighs> embracing all this is going to melt it away anyway. Because that's actually old. But this, but it's, it's kind of like holding on to it as a protection, but it's not a protection, it's a hindrance. And it's just a pain in the behind now. So it's time to let go of that. Just let it, let it. Um, and I feel like, oh, it's just not that always that easy to do, but you don't need it anymore. It's not serving you. It's not serving you. Um, I do want to say, though, this. Use the pain that you have been through, use the heartache that you've been through, use the hurt and the trauma that you have been through to grow something incredible. Turn it around. Turn it around into a jewel. Okay? Because the tears can not only melt the ice, but as the ice melts, it creates moisture and water to grow the trees right so in that regard Sagittarius you can actually use it to your benefit so see ways get creative right get creators creative in ways to do that rather than being in denial bring it out and use it for good to benefit you and to benefit others okay yeah. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave that with you. You take care of your beautiful self. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.